Today, the trial of a Connecticut man convicted in a deadly home invasion entered the penalty phase. Now jurors must decide if Stephen Hayes should be put to death for murdering a mother and her innocent daughters. Iowa to Susan reporter Aaron Kennedy joins us now live with the latest developments. Prosecutors arrested their case today after calling a court clerk to testify about Stephen Hayes' long criminal record. Hayes was found guilty earlier this month of killing Jennifer Hawk Pettit and her two daughters, Haley, age 17, and Michaela, age 11, in their Cheshire Connecticut home back in 2007. The victim's husband and father, Dr. William Pettit, chose not to deliver a victim impact statement during today's hearing. Instead, prosecutors asked the jury to consider that Hayes was a career criminal whose past led to the killings. But the defense insists that Hayes' past crimes were nonviolent and that, that he was just a follower of his suspected accomplice, Joshua Komisarjevsky, who will be tried separately. Hayes' lawyers also claim that heavy drug use of affected his decision making. The defense wanted to argue in court that executing Hayes would cost more than putting him in prison for life, but a judge ruled last week that such evidence is not legally admissible. If the jury chooses the, the death penalty, Hayes will be just the second person put to death in Connecticut since 1960.